Hello YouTube, Patrick Spipe here. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I am out here in Phoenix, Arizona and it's hot. It's already like over 100 degrees today, so that's why I'm here inside the house. I have my pipe ready like I want to smoke, but I think I'm going to hold off because the wife's coming home soon and I know she won't appreciate the smell, so I might save it for some other time but while i'm making this video i thought i would share with you some tobacco that i got so i ordered some tobacco last week maybe maybe a week and a half ago uh, from a guy that i've never even heard of before and his name is ken byron ventures i'm sure you guys have you know might have heard of him before i think he's been around for a little while um the way that I heard about this guy was from Stuff and Things. Bradley at Stuff and Things was doing a review on a vapor blend called Verge Engine Overdrive. I believe it's called Verge Engine Overdrive. And it's um, like a vapor blend. And uh, it had like 20% Perique or something in Virginia. I'm not sure what else was in that particular blend. Um, but I do recall him liking that blend. And... Uh, at the end of the video, he was suggesting uh, that we, you know, maybe research his name and, and uh, go to his website and check out his tobacco. So that's what I did. So I looked at the uh, website and he's got tons and tons and tons of, of um, different tobacco, but a lot of them were out of stock. But there was a, quite a few that were in stock. So like that particular one that Bradley was reviewing, that Verge Engine Overdrive they had in stock. And... I was really questioning if I wanted that blend because I had just bought like a Scudo, not just bought, but I've had a Scudo, I've had Luxury Bullseye Flake, Carolina Red Flake, I think. Um, so I've had blends with Perique in it and I didn't know if I wanted another one. So I started looking around and came across this one, actually two blends, but the first one that I bought, so I thought it was, it sound good, was a Robo Burlesque. And this is a Burley with dark chocolate. And I think it says a kiss. And a kiss of Red Virginia. You know, and I was like, I don't have anything like this. And I like, I have some blends with Burley that are good. I like dark chocolate and I like Red Virginia. So I thought, what the hell? And what, what's cool about it, it comes in these Mylar bags. I mean, isn't this with like military rations come in? But sealed really well. I cannot smell like the tobacco at all. Like when it came in this package, I can't even. But if I order like Sutliff in a bulk from like, you know, somewhere else, I can smell that a mile away, you know? <clears throat> so that's the first one that I bought. Second one that I bought is called Sakura. And to be honest, I, I don't know if these are both aromatic blends. I, I would think it would be because this has the dark chocolate flavor so maybe it's cased and this one has Virginia Turkish Cavendish and cherry blossom so I don't know if the cherry blossom is like a flavoring that they put on or if it's actually real cherry blossoms like in there I have no idea so yeah this one can't smell anything either so I know this Ken Byron Ventures guy is out of Tennessee and I know he's done like a couple of shows or something like tobacco shows which I've never been to I'm not sure what that's all about but I think people have bought his tobacco I think his tobacco sold out at some of these shows um, and yeah there's if you go to YouTube and watch some videos you'll see videos of um, of his blinds people doing reviews on him not a whole lot but there's definitely a handful um, but yeah let's why don't I crack this one open and see what it smells like see if I can get this this little s slit here see if I can get this all up here boom can't wait holy oh my god 
Holy sh... Uh, man, if I... I don't want to cuss, but... Damn. I don't know if you can see that big block in there. God, fuck, I can't move it. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. It's really just goopy, though. That's, that's why it looks like a block, because it's so goopy. But... Let's see if I can take some of this out. <laughs> Holy... Wow. Oh my god. It's just a, and a big brick because it's been, you know, blocked, but like it'll break up super easy. So it's been a, been a big package, big brick. Oh, look at this. If you guys could smell this, you would just die. It is so good. Smells like, you definitely smell the dark chocolate. Even my cat's like tripping out. Oh my God, that is really good. It looks like it's great quality tobacco too. A good moisture level too, like if I clump it, try to make it a ball, it just doesn't want to stay. So I think it's like, Perfect for smoking. God, I really want to smoke so bad. I might just uh, just take the heat and go outside, or maybe go in the garage or something. But wow, so that one's awesome. That is totally awesome. I'm gonna get that jarred up right away. But holy, I can't even tell. I can't stop smelling it because it smells so good. But you know, here's a big block. I don't know if you can see that. It's just, you know, I've been pressed in this bag, but it breaks up super easy and it's really good. God. It's like, it's almost got a hint of like, you know, I don't know if it, what makes up dark chocolate, like if there's coconut in it, but like, I know it just sounds bad to say coconut. More like just cocoa and great, like I can smell the, uh, like those bright Virginias. Mmm. Burley's in there too. Like, I, don't know, I wish you can see that a little bit better. It looks reddish on camera, but it's really not that red. It's more dark than anything else. But there's like a little bit of white black in there. But wow. Man, I'm taking it back. That is good stuff. So, whew, if that smokes as good as it smells, then I'll be buying more. Probably just gonna, I'm gonna save this Kira for later. I'll do another, a bag opening video for that one later on. But for now, I'm gonna get into this though, because this smells good. So like I said, if you haven't seen Ken Byron, Ken Byron Adventures, you gotta try it. It says right here, it says Yosh Yoshimi's, Yoshimi's Robo Burlesque. So make sure you're looking out for that. I think there's only one robo over last, but who knows. Anyways, it's been a long video. Sorry about that. So I hope all is well. And until the next one, take care.